Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to share on a topic that I've received and seen around most often in the stock market. That is, how to start in the stock market. And chances are, if you're a beginner in the stock market, you probably have this question too. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you what do you need to start investing in the stock market. I'll be sharing with you the strategies and not so much the tactics in this video. I have many videos on my channel talking about the tactics on how to start in the stock market. But in today's video, I'd like to share with you more about the stock market strategies so that you have a broader and clearer picture on how to start in the stock market. The first question is, what do we need to learn in order to start investing in the stock market? Right now, there's so much information available online and it's a very real possibility to get lost in this maze of information. I have filtered down to these two things, fundamental analysis and technical analysis on what you need to learn in order to start in the stock market. They are by no means everything you need to know about the stock market. However, as a starting point, I believe learning about fundamental analysis and technical analysis will provide you a solid foundation to start your investing and trading journey in the stock market. Let's take a look at what fundamental and technical analysis are. Fundamental analysis is the study of economic and financial factors which affect a stock's price. So as investors, some of the things that we take a look at are the financial ratios and financial statements of companies. The goal of studying these financial numbers, ratios, and statements is to determine whether a stock is undervalued, fair valued, or overvalued. And fundamental analysis helps us do just that. Technical analysis, on the other hand, is a study of price charts and past data to analyze supply and demand. And it is this supply and demand which affect the price of a stock. Some factors which affect the supply and demand of a stock are the fundamentals of a company which we use fundamental analysis to determine. And another factor is how the market or the crowd reacts to these fundamentals. And this is also known as market sentiment. So these are just two of the many factors which affect the supply and demand of a stock. And what technical analysis helps us do is to analyze this supply and demand. And the goal of this is to identify entry and exit opportunities. This is an overview of what fundamental and technical analysis are. For fundamental analysis, one of the things that we take a look at is company analysis. So we analyze whether a company has good fundamentals such as strong financials and strong earnings and growth potential. Another thing that we take a look at in fundamental analysis is industry analysis. So we want to analyze whether a particular sector and industry is up and coming and whether there's strong growth potential in that specific industry or sector. The next thing is macroeconomic conditions. Things such as interest rates, inflation, deflation, credit and so on. And the last thing that we'll take a look at is future profit outlook. So we want to pay attention to areas where there's strong drivers of growth. And for technical analysis, we take a look at the price charts to determine the supply and demand of a stock. And we take a look at the technical indicators and technical oscillators. Another question which frequently come out is, isn't learning fundamental analysis by itself sufficient? Because with fundamental analysis, we are filtering out only the best companies with strong fundamentals and strong earnings and growth potential. And isn't that sufficient enough to make money in the stock market? I believe that in order to be successful in the stock market, one needs to combine both fundamental analysis and technical analysis together to be profitable in the stock market. And let me share with you an analogy of why this is so. On this screen, we have a couple of faces. If you're not familiar with who they are, they are some of the best football players in the world. So on the screen, we have some of the best individuals in the game. Mane, Ronaldo, Salah, Messi, De Bruyne and Neymar. So individually, they have some of the best stats in football. But that doesn't necessarily mean that as a team, they are likely to win games and trophies. Because while their individual stats and quality are important, what is also important is their ability to work together and to function as a team. So how does this relate to learning about fundamental analysis and technical analysis and not just fundamental analysis? Fundamental analysis helps us determine the individual quality and stats of a company. But in order to be profitable in the stock market, we also need to buy at the correct timing to make sure that the individual stock that we are taking a look at is aligned with the greater trend of the market. And that is where technical analysis is useful. So fundamental analysis helps us determine what to buy and technical analysis helps us determine when to buy these companies. Let me share with you an example of why I believe combining both fundamental analysis and technical analysis is essential if we want to be profitable in the stock market. This is the price of Amazon back in the early 2000s. While Amazon is certainly not where it is now back about 20 years ago, at the time it still had strong earnings and growth potential. But what if you had invested in Amazon back at the start of 2000? After two years, you'll see the value of your stock decline by more than 80%. So while Amazon might be a good stock, if you buy it at the wrong time, you will lose money. The other part of the equation is knowing when to buy and when to sell these companies. And that is why I believe in learning both fundamental analysis and technical analysis. So those are the two things I recommend learning when you're first starting out in the stock market. The next question you might have is how to learn about fundamental analysis and technical analysis. These are the three ways which I believe are the best ways to learn about fundamental analysis and 
technical analysis. And these are also the three ways which I personally use to learn about investing in the stock market. The first way is to learn through courses and coaching. And I believe this is one of the best ways to get started in the stock market. Learning through courses and coaching is definitely not cheap, but they allow you to shortcut your learning curve and learning process. Instead of spending months and months trying to look for the information, and even then the information might not be reliable and might not have proven results. However, with courses and coaching, they provide filtered information that have delivered proven results. In addition, courses and coaching also provide personalized training and accountability. And I think that is also very important because knowing something alone does not deliver results. But what will deliver results are the execution and the consistency of executing. And all the greatest athletes in the world know this. Michael Phelps had his coach, Michael Jordan also had his coach, and Roger Federer also had his coach. So if you are interested in personalized coaching in the stock market, you can reach out to me on social media. I've included links down in the description box below. In this one-to-one -one coaching, not only will I be sharing with you the information on how to determine what stocks to buy and when to buy and sell them, but I'll also be working with you hand-in-hand -hand to tailor the coaching for you so you can start being profitable in the stock market. The next way to learn about the stock market, specifically on fundamental analysis and technical analysis, is through books. And within the text of these books, many years of experience are condensed within them and they provide a treasure trove of information. Furthermore, they allow us to have intimate access to the thought process of successful people, many of whom we are unable to get access to in our day-to-day -day lives. So books not only allow us to dive deep into the minds of these successful people, but they also allow us to learn the wisdom and knowledge of these successful people who have already gone through before us. In fact, one of the most successful investors of all time, Warren Buffett, spends a majority of his day reading. So books are a great way to learn about fundamental analysis and technical analysis and the stock market in general. The next way to learn is through videos. One of the benefits of educational videos is that it combines both information with entertainment. And we call such videos as infotainment. Studies have shown that people retain information better when it is combined with entertainment. Furthermore, videos also include both audio and visual experience. So for example, in this video that you are watching right now, there's a combination of both visual and audio experience. So the visual aspect is the slides that you're seeing and the audio is my voice that you're hearing right now. And the combination of these two also allows a person to retain information better. This article mentions that videos offer an immersive, flexible, engaging and stimulating experience with the ability to integrate information in ways that are fun, entertaining and easy to understand. And there's an increase in consumption of videos. So they also mention that students are watching more videos at home every day. In fact, the number has doubled. And it's not just at home. 99% of institutions report that their teachers incorporate videos in their classroom. Now that you know what to learn in order to start in the stock market and the different ways to learn about them, the next thing that I want to talk about is implementation. And I think perhaps this is one of the most important steps to take in order to start in the stock market. Many people dream of success in the stock market, but what separates those that make money in the stock market and those that don't is implementation. Right? And we have this quote that says, a dream remains a dream unless you act on that dream. You can dream about all the success that you plan to achieve in the stock market. But if you don't act on that dream, then it won't become a reality and it will still remain as a dream. So in this part of the video, I'd like to share with you some of the ways you can implement what I've shared with you so far in this video so that you can take the necessary steps to start investing in the stock market. And we see here a quote from Mark Minivini. He mentioned that the most important thing to becoming a good trader is to trade. So be it a good investor or a good trader, you need to implement and take action on what you know and take the time to practice. These are the two ways to implement what you have learned in this video on how to start in the stock market. The first step that you want to take is to open a brokerage account. Opening a brokerage account allows you to invest and trade in the stock markets. Think of Swim and Interactive Brokers are some of the brokers out there that you can consider. After opening a broker account, the next thing that you want to do is to practice with paper money first. With paper money, you're not investing or trading with real money. Practicing with paper money allows you to get familiarized with the platform that you're using and also allows you to practice the strategies and tactics that you have learned through videos such as this or through other ways of learning such as courses, coaching and books. This is how to start in the stock market and the things you need to start investing in the stock market. We have went through on what to learn in order to start in the stock market. We have learned that the two things that will give us a strong foundation in the stock market are fundamental analysis and technical analysis. And the next thing that we have went through is how to learn about fundamental analysis and technical analysis. There are three main ways to learn about those two things. The first is through courses and coaching, the second is through books, and the third is through videos. And the last thing that we have went through is implementation. Knowing the theory that we have went through in part one and part two is one thing, but what will actually help you achieve the results that you want in the stock market, in this case how to start in the stock market, is through implementation. And I also have went through with you some of the ways to start in the stock market. If you have enjoyed and learned something from this video, do drop a like and subscribe to this channel because it will really help the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this. I'll see you in those other videos. To your financial success.